Welcome, everybody, to another episode of the Two Minute Drill with yours truly, a no risk, no premium. Guys, how I'm going to start this Two Minute Drill today is very, very, very simple. I'm going to talk about the macro picture, then the macroeconomics, then the levels, then I'll get you on your way. First off, macro levels. All righty. Here's our high of 479. Here's our low of 462. Here's that sweet four, uh, 349 um, uh, retracement that we had or that we will have off the COVID high, COVID lows, all right? But what do we have after we hit the highs? Did we not just have a bunch of stair steps down? You guys see all these stair steps down, right? Which is also AKA a bear flag, whatever you want to call it. Well, what I've noticed right here, what we've started forming in the last few days is, or two weeks or so, whatever, since we bought them out, is a nice little bear flag, all right? Now, why am I focused on tomorrow's macroeconomics? Very simple. If you take a look, PCA inflation monthly, yearly, year over year, core PCE, real disposable income, real consumer spending, nominal personal income, nominal consumer spending, initial jobless claim, continuing jobless claim, and then Chicago PMI. So tomorrow is a sorcery of shit that is coming out that's going at the market. Why is that important? Well, inflation is important. And of course, PC is how the Fed really monitors how they use their quote unquote tools. Okay. Disposable income. Well, here's the thing. Shit's getting expensive and people are getting laid off. So either somebody's lying and the jobs market is so goddamn strong or inflation doesn't exist. Somebody's lying. I don't know who it is. I don't really care who it is, but the truth will come out. All right. It's really simple. We got to see the consumer confidence index on Monday come out and shit the bed and the market dropped 13 points. Very simple stuff. Now we got PCE. We also have real consumer spending. If Powell and the White House says we're in the families are in the best economic situation they've ever been. Blah, 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 blah. Shut the fuck up. Well, the numbers don't lie, guys. I could give a fuck what anyone has to say. These numbers will not lie. OK, and then we want to see the jobless claims because the Fed talks about inflation, job market, inflation, job market, inflation, job market, blah, 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 blah. OK, macroeconomic rant over. You can tell I really care about all those jerk offs uh, that control 33 million people i actually call eight billion people if we are the free leader of the world anyway back to it guys levels are the same i want to tell you something about 392 we dropped 10 off it okay i'm sorry we dropped 392 to 380 we dropped 12 off it so god damn it 392 is to be fucking respected very simple stuff i totally screwed that up and i don't know what i did here oh here we go oh okay cool now what do we have, guys? Levels are simple. Let's see if I can zoom out from here, guys, because that was just a terrible mess of what I try to do. All right. We are in the gap filled down. We pretty much filled it from that Thursday to Friday gap up. Then we were able to get that uh, gap from a long time ago over here. You know, we're still staring at this one above us at 496 to 401. But first, Spy's got to hold 398, 398, 398, 398, 398, has to, has to, has to hold over 382. We get a zipper to 384, and if 384 lets us go through, then 390 comes. It's very simple, okay? 382, 384, 389, 393. Very simple, guys. Very, very, very simple stuff here, okay? To the downside, you can see that we have 398 or excuse me, 378, 376, 372, 370, uh, 365, 362, 358. All right. So I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, guys. All those numbers that come out, you better you better get your ass up and ready. Be ready at 8.30 a.m. Eastern because you're going to see some movement happen. And my guess is this. There's going to be some traps that happen. We have quarter and month end tomorrow. Do the big boys rebalance their books, get some shit looking nice, buy some shit for cheap? I don't know. Do they get rid of shit for cheap? I don't, or do they get rid of shit? I have no idea. I got no idea, but I would not be surprised if we see a bunch of choppy moves, like get back to 390, have everybody get super bullish, then they flip their hips tomorrow and they crater us all fucking day. I would not be surprised if they drop us to 376 on these numbers, everybody comes out short, and then they blimp us back up to 390. I would not be surprised with that at all. So guys, watch your levels, watch the reaction, okay? At every level, you better have calls and puts on each side, okay? Other than that, that's all I got for you guys. Really simple stuff. Get your levels right. Get your mind right. Get up early. Watch what happens. Get a plan together and make some fucking money. All right. Uh, no risky signing out. I'll see you in the pre-market. Peace.